greetings. Jeez, what a week. And that's right after that last insane week. We're going to have to learn to behave ourselves if we're hoping to handle this one. It's 30th of May 2021, and we're still nourishing our emotional little hearts after that massive lunar eclipse last week, which was quite fair, but also quite scary. Talk about emotional. These energies will be around for another month at least. Lots of weeping and ranting and bad driving. And now, of course, we've also got Mercury retrograde, which means Mercury has changed direction and communications have gone to hell. Watch your mouth. Be nice. Those are the rules. Thanks for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Please subscribe. I know it's a pain, but it really helps me and it's free. Just have to press a few buttons. That's enough of that. Let's get to the stars. Gemini, my fluffy little squirrel. Are all those relationships becoming so much more intense? You're having to hold yourself back from losing the plot. And with so many planets in your sign, you're also becoming much more desirable and courageous. So you'd better watch yourself or you'll end up with a thousand adoring admirers driving you nuts. Still, if you're planning a new financial venture, on the other hand, or a partnership, that'll go really well. Of course, you'll have to have all your ducks in a row, which is not something you're very good at. So get someone to help you. This is really good stuff. Relationships, not so much. But for money, yum. For the first time in ages, you actually feel as though you're in charge of your own destiny. Your instincts are fantastic. Sex life is interesting. People around you are starting to appreciate your techniques, yum, yum, yum. In fact, the main thing here is that you have to really watch your mouth. It's your planet that's on the fritz. And not everyone has your weird sense of humor. Count to 10 before you speak and everything will be fine. That's it for Gemini. Cancer, my little weeping willow, how are you doing? Look, we've got lunar eclipses and all sorts of cosmic drama. And the moon's your planet, so you're obviously having one of your moments. Not easy. None of this stuff is easy to handle. So hang in there. You're probably getting all emotionally attached when you shouldn't. But you could also find some fabulous new friends out there. You will definitely be spending more time with the family, which is great. And old friends you haven't seen for ages are coming back into your life to resolve old dramas. Either way, you're in a very forgiving, wonderful mood. Just make sure you don't become too demanding or needy. You know, you can do that sometimes. How about writing a book now or learning a new skill? Your creative abilities are fantastic and you need some distraction. And pay no attention to other people's opinions. Those are their business. For now, you're dealing with yourself and you're staying sane. That's more than enough to handle. That's it for Ken. Leo, my little apricot. You know, this eclipse has actually been quite good for you. Suddenly you're finding it much easier to follow your heart's desire. Yum! You just have to figure out exactly what that is. You know, you have fantastic instincts, which you always completely ignore for some reason. And when you're not trying to drag someone gorgeous into your lair, you know exactly what you want. Stop messing about. The universe is standing by, waiting to support your dreams. You'll already have decided what to do about those relationships that are giving you a hard time. You're especially gorgeous now and very popular, if that's your thing. It's also a good time to start new creative or financial projects. They're looking fabulous. Also, someone's going to bring a message that isn't what you wanted to hear, but which opens the doors to something much better. Just get off your ass and get moving. That's it for Leo. Virgo, my little rabbit. Look. Don't get into any of those ridiculous arguments about politics or religion or the dreaded COVID or the goddamn vaccine or you'll end up in a flaming row. Your brain's a bit scrambled now, so just be nice to yourself, gentle. In fact, this is a great time to be writing letters to the people who've pissed you off. You obviously burn the letters afterwards. You never post things like this, but get it all out in the open. By Friday, your energy and enthusiasm are back and you're channeling your dreams and desires and making some real fabulous magic. Even your love life will improve. You're using all that fabulous charm and charisma to seduce everybody slowly back into your heart. Yay. You'll probably also be getting into ethical causes, you know what you're like, and standing up for the underprivileged or whatever your thing is. You're discovering your gifts at long last and you're using them to make yourself happy and rich, of course. Also, if you're single, you won't be for long. That's it for Virgo. Libra, my little watermelon. All this eclipse energy is actually behaving quite differently for you. It's balancing you out. So, you know, it's not a 
madly exciting time for you. It's more about focus and diligence and duty, which is kind of boring. But you're finally building real foundations for your future, which is something you need, actually. And sure, all of this feels weird for you because you usually work in great spurts and then you go off the rails for a while. But now you're being taught to behave like an adult. Scary stuff, but probably very good for you. The better news is that your hard work is being appreciated and you're actually being rewarded for all your efforts. Next week looks like much more fun. People want to be around you and you're madly popular. Also, if you need to ask for a favor or a loan, this is a great time. Careful with the shopping though. You're in the mood to go overboard. You know what you like even more than usual. We're creating a future, remember. Behave. That's it for Libra. Go bear my little sausage. For you, this is an amazingly fantastic time for making friends, getting creative, doing your thing. There's also plenty of love around if you're looking. You're extra sensitive now. You're tuning into people's needs and giving them what they want. Next weekend is a great time for romance. You may even find your soulmate if you're looking. For now though, you probably want to help out at some charity or maybe just get a massage. You like feeling useful. Generally, you're feeling hugely fond of the human race, which is something that very rarely happens to you. You're seeing the good in people, which means you're only attracting what's good in them. Remember this. You might even find a new business partner this week. The week's not all rosy. There's some kind of heartbreak too, probably in a relationship. But if you're the one causing the pain, be gentle. Egos just get in the way now. Remember, you're the strong one. That's it for Scorpio. Sagittarius, my little cocker spaniel. Mercury retrograde has already started to affect you and your mind's gone completely bananas. So try not to make any huge decisions for a while or hang around negative people. That's hideous. They suck out your soul. Still, your creative imagination and your intuition are working overtime and you're tuning into your higher self. This is the time for spiritual breakthroughs. And if one of your goals is enlightenment, make the most of these energies now. If you're still not sure about what you believe, try out all your belief systems. See which works best for you. You're also wonderfully sensitive to people's needs and feelings for a change. So your relationships are going really well. There's news about money too, although you'll have to do some grounding exercises to make it work. You tend to forget about the details and charge off in a thousand directions at once. So just calm down a little. Trust your fabulous instincts. This week is mostly about spiritual growth and enlightenment. Talk to your angels. Let your dreams come true. It's time. That's it for Sagittarius. Capricorn, my gorgeous little toffee apple. This is not a bad week at all, considering. Your money planets are looking great. Your bosses are really impressed with you. And of course, if you are the boss, you're really impressed with yourself, obviously. There could be a new job or a promotion that will take on more responsibility, but without making you feel more stressed. Nice. This is a time for achievement and recognition. Fabulous for your self-esteem. There are complications in your love life and your friendships. There's some possessiveness, jealousy, control issues, invasion of privacy. This is karmic energy. So maybe someone causes drama and disappears, or you get involved with someone who's impossible but hard to walk away from. Just keep a watch over your emotions. This is teaching you that you don't need to control everything for it to work out well. Either way, there are some good people in your life who will help you out. Talk to them. That's it for Capricorn. Aquarius, my fabulous little strawberry. You're becoming much more sociable now. How amazing. That fabulous intellect is being subdued because the planets are going the wrong way and your softer side is coming out. So you're actually allowing yourself to be emotional. Of course, you're always witty and entertaining, so people love being around you anyway. But the love life is going really well. And if you're still looking, there's someone out there who's karmically connected. You're getting out of the house. Wow and occasionally even allowing yourself to be vulnerable, which is not like you at all. You might think about proposing or celebrating an anniversary or something really romantic and fabulous. Of course, if you need a loan, it's a good time to ask for one. There's just one minor glitch, but it's mostly in your head as usual. You're becoming more than neurotic about the future and terrified of making bad decisions. Listen, a bad decision is always better than no decision. At least it gets the energies moving. Besides, your instincts are fantastic now. Trust yourself. You've got this. That's it for Aquarius. Pisces, my little fruit bat. You know, you're always so emotional during these eclipses, and this is a really big one. Your friends are probably even accusing you of being moody and hard to reach. Don't pay any attention to that. Just concentrate on giving yourself what you need. 
If you need to retreat for a while, that's fine. The universe will survive without you somehow. Start by clearing the space you live in or work in. Energy cannot flow in a mess and everyone knows you live in permanent chaos. By the weekend, you'll be more ready for social interaction and maybe even some romance. You're slowly getting your strength back. Meanwhile, how about a new financial project? The money energies are in your space now. They're really good. Trust your instincts. Although you'll need to understand the difference between instincts and mad emotions. Just ask yourself if your ideas make you feel good. Then you'll know. That's it for Pisces. Aries, my little butterfly. Amazingly, this is quite a good week for you. You're suddenly more sociable, more romantic, more sentimental. You may even find that your emotions completely overwhelm you. But that's probably because you tend to bury them until they burst out in a wild flood. Ha! Ah. So, you'll have to guard against becoming moody and careless with people's feelings, especially now that Mercury's gone retrograde and your mouth has developed a life of its own. So count to ten before you speak. But the upside, this is a great time for new love, making new friends, provided you behave yourself, you know, be nice. You can settle arguments, break down barriers that are hindering your progress. It's also great for buying or selling anything and a fantastic time to ask for favors. Make sure you're ready to accept prosperity into your space. Make it welcome. That's it for Aries. Taurus, my little hedgehog. You know, you're an earth sign. You're grounded, you're earthed. So you're battling with all this emotion swirling around. You're feeling weighed down by too many responsibilities and your relationships are suffering because you're too busy for them. And now you're feeling guilty. Enough of that. You need to work on forgiveness, starting with yourself. If you're ready to adapt a little, your finances will do really well now. This is where you get to trust yourself to make the best decisions. By Friday, you're in a much better space. You'll have the courage to shift all those stuck beliefs, you know, those rigid ideas you have. And you're much more passionate about your work, which is great. You can motivate people without getting bossy. And you're discovering how fabulously loyal people can be when you treat them well. It's a great time for new love if you're looking. Get creative. You're always at your best when you're like this. That's it for Taurus. Thank you, my delicious creatures, for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. This is the perfect time to start believing in your own magic and to make something really fabulous happen. Whenever you're out there in the world, protect yourself in a bubble of silver light. It reflects negative energy outwards. And ask your angels to help you. And keep smiling, even if you don't feel like it. Smiling lifts your vibration. Give it a bash. Now, if you'd like to subscribe or like or share or blah, just press the button. It's free. Have a great week and remind yourself every five seconds just how amazing you are. Give yourself permission to succeed. It's really important. Bye now.